Hello again, it's Jess or Jashi Karin, and welcome back for day three of my one month in my bullet journal or plan as you go series. For the entire of November 2018, I'm going to be filming a daily video that shows you how I use my journal on a day to day basis. As it's now the 3rd of November here, it does mean that I'm filming this video at a slightly different time because it is the weekend. So at the moment it's about 12.45pm. Because we're only halfway through the day, that does mean there are only some things that I can do in my journal at this stage. But let's get into it. So as you'll remember from yesterday's video, my intentions for today were to check my buddy's comments for our report writing round. I wanted to do my meal plan, and I also wanted to photograph some of my pages for my Instagram. So far, I have been able to do my meal plan. And in terms of tasks on this list, I have already gotten out the clothes for donation, but I'm not gonna fully cross that one off until I actually go and put them in the donation bin. The rest of the things on this list I'm intending on doing later this afternoon. Because we're only halfway through the day, I'm gonna be holding off on my successes and challenges list but I am going to go in and draw my doodle for the day, and today's prompt is pineapple. Because I still want to keep these ones within my colour theme for November, I'm not going to go in and colour in the yellow part of the pineapple. At this stage I also want to go in and add a couple more to-dos that I have for today. I can also cross off that we have actually tidied the kitchen now. In terms of the event that I had scheduled for today, this one's actually been cancelled because my friend didn't realise she actually already had plans. I'm now going to also go in and draw in the banner for the top of the page here. To colour this one in, I'm using the matching blue colour from the rest of the page. Now as the things that I can currently do on this daily page are done, I'm going to flick back and have a look at some of my monthly pages. So for this one I have that this event isn't actually happening. And then for my habits I have one from yesterday that I can now colour in. And now onto the ones that I've completed so far today. For the rest of these, I'm going to have to see if I've completed them by the end of today, and I'll show you in tomorrow's video which ones I did accomplish. For my steps tracker, I have the number of steps I did yesterday, so I'm going to fill that one in now. Yeah, sorry team, so we've filled in my steps tracker for the day. I'm not going to be filling in my mood tracker until later this afternoon because I want to see if my mood changes. At the moment I'm feeling pretty good, but just because I don't want to jinx it, I'm not going to fill that one in yet. After this we have my social media tracker, which I went and coloured in the things that I did yesterday, as my posting and other things that I need to get done for today hasn't been done yet. After this we have my meal log. I just went in and wrote down what I had for my snack last night and then what I had for breakfast this morning and colour coded that in the same way as I have been. And then for my one word a day I've chosen the word domestic. And the reason I've chosen this one is because today we're mostly focusing on kind of tidying the house up and making our place a little bit more livable. <laughs> One of the other things I wanted to go and show you guys on camera today was how I fill in my monthly review spread. So we're going to flip back to that one now. So the sections that I have on this one are some things in October that I feel I need to work on and my plan for November to do that. My best and worst habits. Things that I want to set as my goals for the month coming and some things that I just want to try out. One major lesson learned. 
The amount of money in the month that came into my account, went out of my account, and then an overall net total. Things in my journal that I enjoyed and didn't. Any media that I consumed, so books, songs in particular that I liked, TV shows and movies. And then any special events or outings. Sections like my money in and money out, I can't quite fill in yet because I haven't finalized my budget for last month. But I'm going to go and fill in the rest now. And that's what we have for my October in review spread. So in general, in October, towards the end of the month, or really kind of from the middle onwards, I was neglecting my trackers a little bit. And I feel like that was maybe because I had too many things that I was trying to track. And a lot of things that I didn't necessarily care about tracking. So with this in mind, when it got to November, I decided only to track a smaller selection of habits. As you'll also have already seen, for the things I'm trying in November, I'm doing my one month in the bullet journal series. I'm having a go at the rando doodles challenge. I set up a one word a day spread and I'm doing what I'm calling the reflection in threes, which is three success criteria or intentions, three successes for the day, and then three challenges. So that's all I have for you today. I know that this video is a little bit different to what you've seen so far, just because of the time of day I'm filming it. For me, what I can fill in in my journal is very much dependent on the time of day. And the time of day that I make these videos is very much dependent on how much sunlight I can get. For me, on a more regular day, I like to check my journal at the very end of the day, pretty much half an hour before I'm going to bed. So not really a time where there's enough sunlight to really show you what I'm doing. What I'd be curious to know is what time do you guys get into your journals? Do you have set times of the day that you like to do this, or does it really depend on what you've got going on? Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you again tomorrow for day number four. Until next time, bye!